All right, welcome everybody to one of the last um, interviews during the Blackout versus Eat Brain event. Next to me, there's Blackson Empire, label boss of Blackout. And on the other side, I have uh, Jade from Eat Brain. Guys, how are you doing? Great. Uh, this was such an honor. I think uh, this is the first time we play back to back. Uh, I, I played with uh, Misha before in Budapest. And uh, I think uh, I played with Renee too, but uh, it was the first time we played together, so it was overdue, <laughs> and, <laughs> and it was epic. Yeah. It. yeah, it was really good. It was this was uh, the first in a like a, a new concept kind of thing with uh, a label back to back with like Blackout and Heat Brain. So, and yeah, like you said, doing the first back to back with James it was cool. Yeah, really nice good. one. The keyboard it was the first, so it um, only. Only adequate that it's gonna be something else going on. So, <laughs> all right. Well, interesting. I really enjoyed, at least from what I what I saw, like real quick. I really enjoyed it. Maybe something interesting for the fans. Like, can you guys tell us how do you know each other? What's the backstory? Well, these guys are completely responsible uh, for uh, ruining my architecture <laughs> career because I was. Uh, uh, well, not so happy, but I was doing uh, architecture, uh, and uh, then they signed the track from me Sorry. in 2004, <laughs> and ever since it's downhill, and uh, it's only music uh, for me now. So they are to blame. <laughs> yeah, we're sorry. <laughs> it, was a, it was a really good track. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> <laughs> <Dunk>, you. <yeah. laughs> oh, nice one. <laughs> All right, um, Milan, you obviously had uh, a recent release. It's yes. called Time Lords. Time Lords. Uh, yeah. Together with mm -hmm. Rido. Yes. Um, do you have any words about that? Like, can you share something about the process? Uh, it's, uh, I, I was actually not that involved in the track, uh, <laughs> though I really, really enjoy it. I, I love the, uh, the, the, like the change up halfway the dur during the second main, where it like completely catches you from, you know, out of the blue you get this big lead uh, and it brings like a, a really dramatic character to it like at first sort of a roller kind of thing and then it like it drops to a yeah something that, that just carries you to to something else which I really 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 like mm -hmm. yeah. can you tell us something about maybe some of your like future releases or plans you have for the label well um the biggest uh, thing, uh, without a doubt, that is coming up is an uh, album from from Boer Oak. You know these guys? Yeah. Uh, they're French, and uh, they've been making waves uh, since they joined forces. They both of them are actually uh, heavy veterans, um, but uh, since they uh, formed this duo, it's just unstoppable. Like uh, I don't know how they do it, but uh, with this alias Buroke, they completely uh, blanketed the whole scene, and they have another uh, big alias uh, called Forum, uh, which they just released an album with. And um, besides that, both of them have another project. So it's uh, insane the energy those guys have, and um, it's gonna be huge. It's coming uh, in um, in the spring, uh, March or April. Yeah. We already have, have some uh, singles out, but uh, yeah, it's going to be magic. So big things coming soon. Definitely. Yeah, excited. <laughs> All right. And then Milan, another question for you. Like um, we obviously had like a, a time of Corona mm -hmm. um, and during that time you've had like your new studios. Absolutely, yeah. You you like them so far? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. No. Yeah. It was it was uh, really scary because we uh, uh, we bought the the building like right like a month before corona hit so uh and we were hoping on a good year before that or like during during like 2020 it was right yeah it was. and then corona hit so we were like ah what the f is gonna happen now you know but uh we ended up like finishing the studios and they're they're, they're yeah they're super nice it's, yeah uh, yeah it's, it's yeah it was always a dream to build studios like these and uh yeah now now everything's cool so yeah really enjoy them yeah i have to say i, I, I think they're really beautiful <laughs> yeah <laughs> have you ever been or are you, th are you ever planning on studio? going yeah. no not yet but uh it would be cool one day yeah 
I mean, could we ever expect another Blackout, E-Brain collab or track I or event? I definitely collab? hope so. Yeah. There, there is a produ uh, promoter here from Switzerland uh, tonight who already uh, said that, that uh, he wants to do this uh, in his hometown as well. So uh, yeah. that's something at least. But um, it would be cool to do it in Hungary. I don't know. Yeah. There's possibilities are endless. Nice one. And also you, Jade, um, you were here last week as well in the Netherlands. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> my um, second home now. Uh, I shouldn't have even gone home, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> How do you enjoy the club life here? Well, uh, I love it. Uh, I can't pretend I'm not at least a little bit jealous <laughs> because <laughs> this is unbelievable. Like... Uh, it's it's like a dream if we had this at home but uh we don't really so it's uh, always amazing to come here yeah. last week was just incredible like um to have a festival indoors like uh that's crazy uh some countries uh struggle to have a decent club life but you here you guys have festivals <laughs> indoors <laughs> so kudos i love yeah. it yeah no, it was definitely a good one. I still lost my voice from it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, you have any other like words you want to share with your fans? Till next time. Till next time. Till nice next words. time. All right, thank you so much. That was it. Hope to see you again yeah. uh, soon. And thank <laughs> you for the interview. All right. Yeah, thank you. See you. <laughs>